Hi everyone and welcome to another quick modding tutorial on the Iron Workshop. In this tutorial we'll learn how to create submods in Hearts of Iron 4. Now there are four steps to creating a submod in Hearts of Iron 4. In the first one we'll need to create a mod file. I'll have a link to the lesson that explains how to do that. So make sure to do that before we proceed to the next step. In the next step we'll need to locate our parent mod name. So let's just take a look here. I have my mod folder and in here I have my files for my submod. Now it doesn't really matter for which mod you want to create your submod, but what is really important is that you locate the correct name of your mod and how it is named by the game. So to do that we'll need to open the Hearthstone 4 Steam folder. In here we'll need to go back a little bit to Steam Apps. And inside of here there will be a folder called workshop so let's go ahead and open that inside of that there is a folder called content and in here you'll basically have all the mod content that you have installed uh, on your computer for for all games this is not just for hearts of iron 4. now one of these folders contains mods for hearts of iron 4 and currently at least this is true to the time of uh, recording this video. Hearts of Iron 4 is recognized by this number. So this is the folder that should contain your Hearts of Iron 4 mods. This is of course only true for Steam. If you're not using Steam, then this tutorial is not very relevant. So let's go ahead and open this folder. Now on top of that, every mod that is installed also receives its own ID, its own number. So what you'll need to do here is to locate the mod that you want to create your sub mod for. Now if I go into this folder for example, uh, the easiest way for me to know which mod this folder contains is by its thumbnail picture. So if I were to open this, I know that this is the folder for Kaiserreich. So, you know what, let's go ahead and create a mod for a submod for Kaiserreich. So, now that I know that this is the folder that contains the mod, I'll need to open the descriptor file. So, I'll double click it. And inside of here, you see it says name. So, this is the name that I will need to use for my submod. And now let us proceed to the next step where we will be adding the dependencies. So in this step, I'll need to open my mod file, which I created at the beginning of this tutorial. And inside of this mod, I'll need to add a line that tells it that it is dependent on another mod, the base mod on which it is based. So to do that, I'm just going to add another line here and I'm going to type the following dependencies, just like this. I'm going to open a new bracket like this. And inside of this bracket, right between this opening and this closing bracket, I'm going to type the name of the mod for which my sub mod is going to work with. So I'm going to just copy the name of the mod from here, just like this, Kaiserreich. And now what this means is, is that this sub mod is going to work together with Kaiserreich and any files that I placed here will be loaded after Kaiserreich is loaded. Right, so after the base mod Kaiserreich is loaded, any other file which exists both in Kaiserreich and in my mod will be overwritten by my submod. Of course, any files that do not exist in Kaiserreich will be added to the base mod to Kaiserreich to work with it. All right, so now that that's done, I can save this file and we can proceed to the last step, which is to set our Steam required items. To show you how to do this, I'm going to use a submod which I created myself and that is the Red Alert 2 Advisors submod. And what you need to do here in Steam, once you've uploaded your mod to Steam, if you want to know how to do that, there's also a video on that, so check that out. Once you've uploaded your submod and it is on Steam, you'll need to tell Steam that this submod requires another mod in order to work, right? So before anybody downloads the submod, they will have to download the base mod. So in here, in your control panel, in your owner controls, you'll have an option called add or remove required items. And once you click that, it will tell, it will give you a list of items that you can link. The easiest way to do this is to just add the mod 
that you want your submod to work with to your favorites and then it will show up in here or even if you're subscribed to it you can cho choose it like this you see that it's been added here and then you just click on save and continue and now everyone who wants to use your sub mod will have to also download the base mod all right so that's all there is to creating sub mods in hard iron 4 thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video lesson or tutorial on the iron workshop bye bye